Today we'll show you how to password protect zip files created from folders or individual files on your Mac. It's easy to create zip files by right-clicking a folder or file, then using the compress command from the pop-up menu. Unfortunately, if that zip file is full of highly sensitive data, anybody can just double-click it to unzip it and see all of the individual files inside. Now you don't need a separate third-party app to add password protection to zips, and we'll show you how to do that right now. The answer is to use the Terminal app found in the Utilities folder in Applications. Launch Terminal and type in the command zip space dash er space the path to and the name of your zipped file, and here that's going to be photos for intro dot zip on the desktop, space and then the path to and the name of the folder to be zipped, which will be photos for intro in this uh, example. Press return, you'll be asked to enter a password. Type it in, press return again, then enter the password a second time to verify it. Press return one more time and each of the files is compressed if possible and the entire folder is stored in a password protected zip file. To test our password protection, We'll double click the zip file and we're asked by the archive utility to enter a password. Entering the password and clicking the OK button uncompresses the file, saving it in a folder called Users. Inside that folder you'll find another folder for your username, another for desktop, and then the final folder containing your unzipped files. We can use the same method to password protect a single file. Here I have a pages document called topsecret.pages. At the terminal, I type in zip space dash e, there's no r this time, space, the path to and the name of the zip file I wish to create, which is topsecret.zip, uh, and then the path to and the name of the source file, topsecret.pages. Press return and enter the password, then press return and verify the password a second time. Press return again and the file is compressed and password protected. To uncompress the file, I can once again double click the zip file, enter the password and click OK, and then the file is uncompressed into another user's folder. For more Apple news and how-tos, visit us online at appleworld.today and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash c slash appleworldtoday.